Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. We've got a special new billboard campaign to greet the IPCC Cities Conference attendees who will be in Edmonton in the first week of March. Cities are really into climate change and as we explored in our two reports on the City of Calgary's climate change initiatives, many of these plans are a recipe for significant debt with few beneficial results, all based on faulty science. Since 2005, scientists knew that the radiative forcing theory, the anthropogenic GHG theory of climate change, was not reflecting the observed evidence. Temperatures were not rising, even though carbon dioxide was. But Al Gore's An Inconvenient Truth came out a year later and soon large billionaire philanthropies were funding ENGOs to spread that climate catastrophe meme. Some environmental activists ended up playing leading roles in IPCC reports. We also have professional activists employed by green lobby groups. So Richard Moss has been involved with the IPCC for two decades. During part of that time, he was also employed by the World Wildlife Fund as an executive, as a vice president. And Bill Hare, you can go online and you Google his name and you will find a web posting that calls him a Greenpeace legend. Today, we see that it's not carbon dioxide that drives climate. And lots of scientists agree. The one thing that we cannot change based on Earth's history, we cannot change the fact that climate is going to change. From 1979 until 1998, there was a warming coincident with rising CO2. But in 1998, there ceased. And there has been no statistically significant warming since. So only in 19 of the last 65 years, 30% has there been CO2 associated with warming. So if it's not carbon dioxide, what does drive climate? How about the sun? I think the reason that uh, you can find an astrophysicist working in climate change is because uh, it turns out that uh, climate uh, is affected by things which are uh, outside the atmosphere. We live in a time when common sense and open civil debate should prevail. And that's why we're running our billboard campaign. We want to remind conference attendees that there are serious questions about the role of carbon dioxide as the driver of climate change. So maybe deep decarbonization is a terrible mistake. So reducing CO2 emissions may turn out to be futile. The stagnation in greenhouse warming observed over the past 16 years demonstrates that CO2 is not a control knob that can fine-tune climate variability. I and many scientists like myself have been promoting the idea of a vigorous, comprehensive climate adaptation strategies. Reducing CO2 will do nothing to climate. There are lots of important initiatives cities can take to protect citizens. But in terms of climate change, cities should be prepared for climate they may warm or cool, because we know that's what's happened in the past. Most important, science is about inquiry, not compliance. So join the debate. See our bilingual Twitter feed and plain language website, Climate Change 101. For Friends of Science Society, I'm Michelle Sterling.